it. I'm worried, I'm worried. I think it's your turn. Because I did that yeah. last week. It's my turn. I think. No. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's your turn. To bring the beat in. Knock, bring the beat in. Knock, don't knock it off. Say her name. Oh. Okay. All right. You know, I can't do that. Okay. Yeah. I can't. I can't help myself. It just didn't even feel like it was me. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Hey, welcome back to another edition of Pillar Talk. I'm T. And I'm Tate. We thank you for tuning in and watching and looking out for us and texting us and commenting to us and all the ways of communication. We thank you. And we thank, thank you. you for taking your time out for this moment. Yes. We appreciate you guys so, <laughs> so, so much. We really do. Um, we come here each week to share a message with you guys. And you guys faithfully tune in to see what we have to say today. So we're truly really grateful, blessed, and honored to have you guys as our viewers. And we hope that you enjoy the content. Definitely don't forget to leave us a comment and give us your thoughts. Let us know how we're doing. Or if you have comments about anything that we're talking about, share and share like I'm sure the rest of the world wants to know. Today's topic will kind of piggyback off of last week's topic. Because last week was our anniversary. In case you missed it, go watch it. We talked about dating. Um, but this one will piggyback a little bit off of that. Um, kind of asking the question of, is it hard to keep a relationship fresh and fresh and exciting? Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that and kind of see, like, get our thoughts, give our thoughts and opinion on whether it's difficult to do it or not. And again, let you guys comment in the comment section below and give us your thoughts on it. I've got this some like line going down my face, y'all. So I'm trying to like dodge it. So if I'm moving, that's what I'm doing. I promise I'm not. Did you just shove me over? Oh, he gave me room. Oh, you're so sweet to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is one way of you keeping it uh, from getting stale. <laughs> help you, mate. Be the help mate. <laughs> Definitely be the help mate. I just wasn't aware of the issues, but uh, be a help mate to one another. Yes. That we shall. Um, so I go first since I think last week I made you go first on purpose. Yeah, you didn't know okay. it's okay, it's a part of the game. I'll go first today and kind of just give you, I guess, my thoughts. I'll try not to be so long winded. Y'all know I can get to talking and just talk, 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 but I won't, not this time. I'll be good. So, I thought you'd say something over there because you know you, you'll be over there sliding with stuff. You have to make sure. You look paranoid, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We were a little paranoid all of a sudden. No, I didn't know you. I just saw your head move in. I was like, what do you say? What Wasn't do you do? thinking what anything say? at all. At all, Tay. His hand is bothering me being so close to my face, though. I'm not going to hit you. Well, we might have Anywho. to open up the topic again about, <laughs> you know, having that understanding of boundaries and everything. I'm going to keep it moving because he's going to get pushed <laughs> off this couch and it'll be pillow talk with Tay and no tea. I'm always around. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. So, is it hard to keep the relationship fresh and exciting? I would say is is not. I mean, we've been together eight years as of last week, married, and ten years. Um, uh, we've been dating each other for about ten years now. <laughs> and I can say that we keep it exciting because we pay attention to one another, and we watch the cues that we each other give, and we listen when one says, "Man." That was fun. I enjoyed that. Or I want to do this or do that. Um, and that helps us to keep it fresh and exciting because even when we're talking and we're saying things, not thinking the other is listening or even paying attention. 
they show up and show out in ways that are um, breathtaking. I, I can say that breathtaking, like really um, just makes you feel like you're the only person here on earth because of how they do it. So I think the way to keep it fresh and exciting, my, my thoughts and opinion, the way to keep it fresh and exciting is definitely paying attention to your mix. Um, and listening to them when they're talking because they will tell you what it is that they're needing and longing for from you in so many words without even saying those exact things. I need this from you. I'm longing for this from you. They'll just talk. And when they're talking, you have to actively listen to them. That means you're paying attention to them, undistracted with your phone. You don't have that going on. And I had to learn how to start putting that thing back down. I'm a guilty of that. But just really, truly actively listening, um, giving them your undivided attention and hearing them out, hearing the things that they're saying that they may be dealing with. And if you're like, let's say they're dealing with some stress at work or something like that. And if you're listening to your mate, you go, okay, here's a way I can help alleviate that stress from my mate by doing X, Y, Z. And to them, to you, it may seem like, oh, it's just something simple. I just want to do it for them. But to them, it's like, man, they really care. They thought enough to help me alleviate this stress by doing A, B, C, D. And that really made a difference for me. Like, we don't know that the little things that we do really make a big impact in the lives of those that we love. Um, some people, it's, for me, definitely for me, the little things matter so much. Literally, him taking the clothes out the dryer and folding those clothes. Man. Oh. He is such a lifesaver. But it's the little things a lot of times that really make a big difference because they're paying attention to you. They're paying attention to your cues. They're listening to you as you're talking. And that's what keeps it exciting. It keeps it fresh because you're listening and you're giving each other what each other needs, so to speak. Like, no one can make you happy. You have to make your own self happy. Um, and if you can't make yourself happy, then nothing that person does is going to make a big difference. So that's, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, though, that you guys, you can continue to build the love in the relationship that you have by ensuring that you're there for one another and more than just financially there, more than just um, sexually there, more than just there, but being intimate with one another. And intimacy, intimacy comes in so many ways, just sitting with each other, just talking with each other, holding each other's hand, really just being in the moment with one another is that intimacy that you long for. So you've got to ensure that that thing there is on point because your marriage, marriage can start to drift away. Your relationship can start to drift away if the intimacy is not there along with everything else that you have. Like we say before, it is, it is work to be in a relationship, but good things are worth fighting for. Good things are worth working for and putting in the effort for it. You're gonna get out of it what you put into it. So if you're not putting anything into it, you're not gonna get nothing out of it. Okay, I did talk too long this time, I'm sorry. Go ahead, honey. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like you said, intimacy <laughs> alone is not gonna do it. Uh, the older you get and as uh, circumstances change, you're, you, you just change. And mm -hmm. as you change, you you know, hopefully your mate is uh, changing with you and hopefully uh, you guys are growing together. Because that's what you, the ultimate goal is to be growing together and mm -hmm. uh, continuing to have the fun, not to forget everything that you uh, used to do, but there's some things that you can't take with you going forward that you had in the past. Because mm -hmm. the past doesn't work the same way as the future, you know, because you've changed or they've changed. And uh, you've really got to, you know, hear one another and, like you said, listen to one another. And, you know, there's nothing major, but, you know, like I said, uh, like we talked about sometime about the roles, you know, mm -hmm. uh, sharing the roles. And that's one of the uh, biggest things that keeps uh, your love and excitement for your uh, mate uh, because they are willing to take on your role and also sensitive to what you may need, uh, you know, for however long it is. Or just, uh, you know, you, you got to pivot off of one another, you know. Uh, you see that one uh, didn't do this, so you went on and did it, and it was no big deal, you know. 
but the other mate is going to realize, your partner is always going to realize what you did for them. And, and that just goes a long, long way, as, as my wife has stated. And uh, those are the kudos that you get that continue to keep the marriage and the relationship uh, without it getting old. It, it keeps it healthy and it keeps it alive. It keeps mm -hmm. it always exciting and always rewarding because you know that you have each other. Yes. And they got your back and you got each other's back and it's just awesome, you know? Yeah. I mean, I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, I still get excited or like a like a schoolgirl when he opens the door for me. Like he's been opening my car door and the 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 doors to businesses when we're together since we've been together. But it's still something that I get giddy about, and I tell him thank you every time he does it. To where it's not to where I'm um, just neglecting or like dismissing what he's doing. Like oh, he's supposed to do that for me, so it's whatever. I gotta tell him thank you. No. It's more so, it's just a thought that he's considered enough. Just like when he pulled me over out of this spotlight right here. Y'all see it? That one. He pulled me over or pushed me over out of the spotlight to help me out or whatever. It's those little things that, you know, your mate does that helps to keep the relationship exciting, keeps it fresh. And the fact that you are acknowledging it and not just dismissing it. Oh, okay. He know I love him or she know I love her. So I don't have to say it or... They know this, they know that, but if you're not saying it and doing it and showing it, right. then do they really know that you still love them? Do they really know that you appreciate what they're doing for them? Like, I don't sound like a broken record when I'm saying things, but I do ensure that I show my appreciation for everything that he does for me and vice versa. He does the same in return. So we make each other, we make the relationship run smoothly because we're always there for one another and really can be considerate and thoughtful and showing our appreciation right. in all that we do. Right. And I can say that for us is what's kept it fun and exciting for the last 10 years. Yeah. And I look forward to it being even more exciting for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years, yeah. however long the Lord gives us life on earth. Exactly. You know, exactly. And it helps that I'm a little firecracker too. <laughs> So we uh, balance each other out because, um, like I said before, I'm the ball of fire and he's the water. Mm. <laughs> he puts me out, he calms me down, but I also pep him up. And he can't help but laugh at me or laugh with me. Sometimes I think it's mostly laughing at me. No. But no, it's mostly, oops. Yeah, I know me, technology. It's mostly me, uh, him him laughing with me. We, we have a good time with each other. And that's the thing. Enjoy your mate. Enjoy your mate. Why, Finally. Why the days uh, enjoy your yes, mate? Yes. Why but you can. Do you guys have any questions or any um, ideas? Or any uh, comments, uh, please do. And, and like us on your subscribe. Subscribe to us. And, uh, Look at him! As we gotta do. like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate it. He's so we do. We, we we I appreciate it, and that's why I'm you know telling you guys you know appreciate all the texts and everything and it's given us uh, you know things to be able to speak back to you guys and impart to you. Yeah, we do. We thank you guys, and we appreciate you. Um, and this is something that we do together that we really enjoy sitting down doing. It's not like oh my gosh, we got to go in here and record and talk to these people. No, it's like, hey, it's time to record. You ready? And we're excited about it because this is something we, this is our intimacy time. We get to sit with each other and enjoy each other. And, you help, know? and help you guys. And help you part. guys in return. Yeah, 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 that part. Yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> you got anything else to say? No, I have nothing on Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. You do? I'm sure. Not on the topic anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll keep it moving then. Yeah. Well, He's spoken. There's nothing left, left, else left to say. So we thank you guys again for joining us tonight for another episode of Pillow Talk with TNT. We look forward to talking with you guys again next week um, with a new topic, new discussion for you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. All right. See you. Be safe. Stay, stay safe. Said. Yeah, there you go. Stay safe. Yeah. Don't let her forget it. <laughs> well, I do. I really want you to be safe. Yeah. There's, there's some interesting times right now. So please be safe. Yes. Be safe. Bye, guys. And don't fuck on me. Why are you looking at me like that now? You heard the camera come on. Now you don't want to tell what you have to say.
Mm -hmm. Don't be Say he's scared. He's scared. I can't with you right now. You can't with me always. <laughs> always and forever. No. Yeah. This moment with you. Yeah. <laughs> you making me hungry. I'm making you hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Your oh. breath. Yeah, you just, you just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put that leg down, y'all. I'm gonna just get on back.